Alright guys, back out here at Garrett Lake. The action has already started. Got us a nice, uh, well that's probably a two pound catfish. Let me get him in the cooler here. Caught him fishing on the bottom. Big one. He just barely fits in there. I think it's going to be a pretty good night. We got my three poles out and I've got the hand line out. That's the first fish in the night and I've been out here oh, less than an hour, definitely. So, uh, We'll see what else we can catch. Alright, just a little side note here. Those uh, South Bend hooks that I was using. When I went to unhook that catfish, the hook broke off on that one. So that's the second one. I don't think I'm going to use these uh, South Bend hooks very much anymore. But I'm going to finish off this pack. I mean, I already paid for them. And it seems to do good hooking the fish. It's just whenever I try to get the hook out, you know, they're brittle. Check that out. A nice crappie. So he's just barely 10 inches, but hey, he's a keeper. <laughs> get him in the cooler. There we go. Let's keep going. Alright guys. Got us another decent little catfish here. Uh, doing pretty good on cats today. That's going to be our third keeper. Let's get him in the cooler here. Almost as big as the last one. Alright, let's keep going. Alright guys. It is now time for my favorite part of the night, and that is question and answer time. It's my favorite part of the night because this is the time when the YouTube community can come together and share in our knowledge and experience. So today's question comes from Cinematic Media Seller. Um, he asks three questions. The uh, first of which is the easiest to answer. What's your favorite fish to eat? Well, that would be the red ear sunfish. Uh, it's just about like a bluegill, but it's a little bit more firm in texture. Uh, the second question he asks, what's your favorite fish to catch? Now, that one's a lot harder to answer. <laughs> I've been trying to think for the last couple of days how to answer that. Because um, it's what I want to say is any of them that bite. <laughs> but I would say if I have to narrow it down, it would probably be the largemouth bass. Um, that's mainly just because it reminds me of fishing with my dad when I was a kid. And most of the fish that we caught were bass. And that's not because we were great bass fishermen. It's because the lake that we fished had very little diversity. There was really only four types of fish in that lake. There was catfish, crappie, bluegill, and bass. That's it. And uh, the catfish, we never really got the, the hang of catching. The uh, crappie, uh, fishing for crappie kind of died out after a couple years. Uh, bluegill, we kind of avoided because they were hard to clean. So pretty much, if we were coming home with fish, it was going to be bass. <laughs> so the next question that he had was about the hand line. 
and why I use a hand line. He went on to say that in the area that he lives in, uh, they're limited to two poles per person, unless you want to pay some extra money, and then you can use three. Um, but here in Tennessee, there's no restriction on the number of poles that you can use. Uh, the reason I use the hand line is because I really can't carry any more poles with me. <laughs> but the hand line, you know, you can stick that in your pocket. It's easy, it's versatile, it's cheap, and it's effective. Uh, tonight I'm kind of using it as a passive fishing method where I bait it up, toss it out, and forget about it until you get a fish on it. <laughs> uh, it can be a more active form of fishing, as I show in my previous video fishing the ray way and in that video I use just the hand line and a telescopic cane pole and have one of my best nights out here actually it wasn't a night it was during the day uh, but it's very effective extremely effective and it's cheap that's the best part <laughs> so there's really no reason why not to use it so I hope that answers your questions um, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll answer them as soon as possible. So, hopefully, we catch some more fish before it's time to pack it up. Till then, guys, stay tuned. We did catch another one. Little tiny catfish. This guy's gonna get a free pass today. I'm gonna throw him back. <laughs> But hey, it's something. I don't know if you can hear those folks. They're doing it. I may be packing it up here soon. <laughs> I want to give them their privacy. Well guys, I didn't really have time to do an outro out at the lake last night. That's because I opted to give a young couple their privacy. But we're going to begin today in Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. So. I was having dominion over the fish and, well, they were being fruitful and multiplying. <laughs> we're going to assume that was a married couple out there because I run a respectable channel. Um, at least I try. So, overall, I had three keepers last night. Sound like somebody else found a keeper themselves. <laughs> and even though I caught all the fish, it was somebody else that got lucky. <laughs> And after all, you know, they say it's not how deep you fish, it's how you... No, you know what, I'm not going to go there. You got to be careful with that joke, it's an antique. So, anyways guys, until next time, thumbs up. <laughs>